Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We are very pleased to report another strong quarter with record financial results, combining growth, disciplined investment, laser-focused execution, and significant progress towards building the best financial infrastructure in emerging markets. We now operate in 39 markets, enabling our global merchants to reach over 2 billion consumers. All this access through our 1D local model, meaning one contract, one single platform, and one API. In Q3, our total process volume reached US dollars 2.7 billion, and we've recorded 112 million in revenue. Despite the high baseline set in 2021, we saw robust growth in TPV and revenue, increasing by 51% and 63% year over year, respectively. TPV grew by 12% quarter over quarter, and revenue by 11% quarter over quarter. We continue to retain our clients with a solid NRR of 152% in Q3 2022. Moreover, it is important to highlight that we continue to grow our gross profit and EBDA dollar amount consistently quarter after quarter. Gross profit increased to 54 million, up 56% year over year. Adjusted EBDA was up 58% year over year to 42 million. Both grew 9% quarter over quarter. We continue to operate with the philosophy of delivering disciplined, profitable growth. We maintained our adjusted EBDA margin relatively stable at 37% compared to 38% in the past four quarters. On slide six. Our geographic expansion efforts outside Latin America continue to yield outstanding results. During the quarter, we saw unparalleled growth from Africa and Asia, with revenues increasing by four times year over year and 80% quarter over quarter, reaching $25 million. This is more than the 21 million revenue we recorded for the 12 months of 2021. We expect to continue to see solid growth as we cross sell to merchants that originally started their relationships with us in Latin America, going to Africa and Asia and vice versa. This illustrates the powerful network effect of our financial infrastructure and the quality of our solutions. On slide seven, moving to our LATAM business, revenue in LATAM increased by 39% year over year to 87 million, flat quarter on quarter due to temporary market limitations in the Argentine cross-border operation. If we exclude Argentina's cross-border business, LATAM revenue increased by a solid 43% year over year or 7% quarter over quarter. The Argentinian government temporarily changed the conditions to access the foreign exchange market for the imports of certain goods and services, negatively impacting our Argentina cross-border volumes. The situation has improved during the quarter and we have managed to continue processing most of our TPVs. Overall, our business continues to benefit from diversification across geographies, with no single country accounting for more than 20% of our total revenues in Q3 2022. I will now hand it over to Jaco to comment on our international expansion. Thanks, Seo. Hi, everyone. We continue to execute on our strategy to expand to new markets. I'm happy to announce that this quarter we have added two more countries to our portfolio, meaning we now operate in 39 different emerging markets. During the quarter, we added Nicaragua, bringing the total number of markets serving Latin America to 16. We have also added Saudi Arabia to our financial infrastructure network, bringing the total number of markets serving Asia to 10. Our geographic expansion continues to be driven by two main factors. Number one, addressing the needs of our merchants, and number two, attractiveness of the market. Our investment into geographic expansion typically have a fast payoff because, first, we normally have a merchant in waiting when we add a new country, providing immediate demand. This was the case for both Nicaragua and Saudi Arabia. And second, with our one local platform, any new geography or payment method become immediately available to our entire merchant base. We have been executing not only to all new countries, but also to deepen our presence in the countries in which we already operate providing a best-in-class local solution for our global merchants. During the last quarter, we continued to enhance our infrastructure and network, adding more than 10 new payment methods in Africa and Asia. Our growth strategy continues to be fundamentally based on our organic growth. However, we continue to explore selective and organic opportunities to improve our scale, network, and products across key markets. We power merchants from diverse verticals and from all over the globe. Our business model is not dependent on the performance and outlook of any single vertical as we operate across more than 10 of them. Over the years, we have seen different verticals go through cycles, but there are always winners and losers. We are constantly looking for new opportunities to further diversify our business and increase our resilience. We are proud to partner and serve some of the largest global merchants and marketplaces, including Microsoft, Shopify, Dropbox, Shein, Spotify, Deliver Hero, and, and Deal, as well as other high-profile global companies that have disclosure restrictions. As you can see on the left-hand side of the slide, we continue to see more merchants joining our platform. Total enterprise merchants on our platform have grown to more than 600, and we currently manage around 200 key accounts actively. Our merchants value our tech DNA and merchants' first approach, addressing complex needs with a convenient, one-stop solution. The chart on the right shows our continued success helping our merchants operate in more countries and accept more payment methods. In the first nine months of 2022, our enterprise merchants, on average, processed payment in eight countries, accepting, on average, 78 payment methods. 
This compares with an average of six countries and across 44 payment methods in 2020. As you can see, on top of growing with our existing merchants organically and gaining share of wallet, we have an immense opportunity to continue growing through new geographies, new payment methods, and continuous development of our products. I will now pass it to Maria to comment on some relevant APIs for our top 10 merchants. Thanks, Hako. Hi, everyone. My name is Maria Odom, and I'm very excited to be leading corporate development and investor relations at the local. I look forward to meeting many of you going forward. The revenue from our top 10 merchants continues to increase quarter after quarter, reaching $59 million in Q3 2022, and accounting for 53% of our total revenue. In the medium term, we see customer concentration decreasing, although in this quarter our top 10 merchants outperformed the average. Our top 10 merchants may vary from quarter to quarter as we add new merchants and scale existing ones. In Q3 2022, our top 10 merchants were spread across various verticals, including ride hailing, commerce, streaming, advertising, financial services, and on-demand delivery. The successful growth within our larger merchants is driven by a combination of continuous product innovation and a highly customer-centric approach. Our account managers have deep and trusting relationships with our merchants, giving us continuous insights into their needs and allowing us to keep developing and cross-selling products to fulfill those demands. We have been successfully expanding our geographic footprint within our top 10 merchants. Our top 10 merchants in Q3 2022 processed payments with us in 10 countries on average versus seven countries last year, with the maximum being 19 countries versus 11 last year. We continue to take our existing customers from Latin to Africa and Asia. For instance, nine out of our top 10 merchants are already processing with us in this region, compared to five out of 10 a year ago. As you can see, we also have several growth levers within our top merchants. On top of going through new geographies, new payment methods, we also maintain our focus on gaining share of wallet in order to further increase monetization within our existing merchants. Now, we will cover our team growth and distribution. First of all, it is important to remind you about our culture and the way that we operate. Since day one, we have had a lean culture, been highly disciplined with every dollar we spend and always focus on profitable growth. Additionally, Given that we operate in a very fast growing emerging market, staying lean has been essential for us to remain agile and react fast. This has been an important competitive advantage that we are proud of and we continue to build on, especially in a challenging macro environment. Within the context of this lean culture, we continue to invest carefully in expanding our global team, responding to the new opportunities we see and driving towards our long-term objectives. At the end of Q3 2022, we had 712 employees, up 34% or by 180 FTEs year over year. Our headcount has significantly expanded outside the Americas as we focus on hiring locally to leverage on the ground knowledge and develop deep understanding of local market idiosyncrasies. We reached 146 FTEs in Africa and Asia by the end of September 2022, corresponding to 21% of our workforce and an increase of 103% year over year. Year to date, we have grown in all areas to support our growth opportunities including sales and marketing, operations and expansion, and tech and product teams. Tech-related roles continue to represent around 40% of our FTEs, with our sales and marketing and operations and expansion teams each accounting for around 20% of our FTEs. Diego will now reveal the financial highlights. Thanks, Maria. Hi, everyone. Let's begin with slide 12. We continue to scale our business supported by a well-diversified segment base. We saw strong TPP growth during the quarter, reaching 2.7 billion, up by 51% year over year, and 12% compared to the second quarter of 2022. As you can see in the pie chart of the right, we have merchants from more than 10 verticals, and every vertical is well balanced in our portfolio with no single one accounting for more than low 20% of our TPV in Q3 2022. Thus, our business model is not dependent on the performance and outlook of any single industry vertical. The TPV growth is attributable to the performance and continued growth of merchants across most verticals, particularly in commerce, on-demand delivery, travel, software as a service, advertising, and financial services. I would also like to highlight that we have experienced growth both in pay-ins and pay-outs during the quarter. Specifically, in Q3 2022, pay-ins have shown double-digit growth year-over-year year and high single-digit growth quarter-over-quarter. Quarter. We continue to see improvement in our payouts volumes with double-digit growth quarter-over-quarter quarter and also year-over-year, year, despite the hard comp as we have higher than average volumes from certain merchants running big marketing campaigns during that period. Regarding our cross-border and local-to-local -local volumes, both show solid growth year-over-year year and quarter-over-quarter. 
During this quarter, we experienced growth in local-to-local -local TPV due to strong performance of some of our merchants and as cross-border volumes in Argentina slowed down as previously mentioned. Revenues also reached a new record, having grown 63% year-over-year and 11% quarter-over-quarter to $112 million in Q3 2022. Our revenues over TPV, or gross take rate, was 4.1% during the quarter, compared to 4.2% in the second quarter of 2022 and 3.8% in the third quarter of 2021. Fluctuations from quarter to quarter are driven by changes in business mix. The small drop compared to Q2 2022 is driven by a higher share of payouts and local-to-local -local flows, whereas take rate increased compared to Q3 2021 as payments increased their relative contribution year over year. Zooming in on revenues, we continue delivering strong revenue growth both from our existing and from our new customers. Revenues from existing merchants are those revenues that are driven by merchants that were already processing with us in the same period of last year. And revenues from new merchants are those revenues that are driven by merchants that started operating with us after the same period of last year. During Q3 2022, of the 63% year-over-year revenue growth, 52% or $45 million came from existing merchants. Our revenue from existing merchants continue to grow quarter after quarter, reaching $104 million in Q3 2022, increasing by 83% compared to the $57 million that we achieved in the same period of last year. Our net revenue retention for the third quarter was 152%. This is the result of having almost no churn, less than 1%, the organic growth of our merchants in emerging markets, and our ability to continue bringing them to new countries, payment methods, and to increase share of wallet. This NRR is in line with our yearly guidance of 150 plus for the full year 2022. The remaining 11% year over year revenue growth, or $8 million, came from new merchants. This compares to $9 million recorded in the second quarter of 2022 and to $12 million in the same period of 2021. As our merchants typically have a three to six quarter ramp up period, we believe that the revenues from new merchants are just an initial indication of the potential of our new customers. Moving to slide 14, we remain focused on growing gross profit and EBITDA dollars. During the quarter, we were able to scale our gross profit to 54 million, up 56% year over year and 9% quarter over quarter. Gross margin came at 48%, relatively in line with the 49% margin levels seen during the first half of 2022. The slight decrease in gross margin is a reflection of our country and product mix. Our cost of processing for the quarter represented 2% of our GPV, stable quarter over quarter and compared to 1.8% a year ago. The increase versus Q3 2021 was driven by business mix, particularly an increase in pay-ins which have a higher processing cost than payouts. Moving on to adjusted EBITDA, it was $42 million for the third quarter of 2022, increasing by 58% year over year and 9% quarter over quarter. Our adjusted EBITDA margin was 37%, relatively in line with the 38% margin seen in the past four quarters. This is in line with our yearly guidance of 35% plus for 2022. If we look at operating expenses for the quarter, we see that they have grown 26% year over year, as we saw an increase in salaries as we continue expanding our team with focus on sales, expansion, and technology. In addition, we increase our travel and marketing expenses. We operate in a hyper-growth business and want to keep investing in building infrastructure and harvesting long-term sustainable growth with a very disciplined and lean approach. Before handing the call back to Seba for the closing remarks, I will briefly touch on our net income and liquidity. Net income totaled $113 million in the last 12 months, compared to $17 million in the full year 2021 and $28 million in 2020. Our net income in Q3 2022 reached $32 million, increasing by 64% year over year and 5% quarter over quarter. Net income for the quarter includes $2.5 million of net financial losses as a result of higher cost of hedges, as we adapted to certain changes in FX regulations and faced higher interest rates. We follow a disciplined hedging strategy covering any relevant balance that we temporarily hold in local currencies. We continue to deliver positive free cash flow, generating $121 million of own funds in the last 12 months, compared to $59 million in the full year 2021, excluding the primero pay acquisition, and $44 million in 2020, with a strong net income to cash conversion of 107% for the last 12-month period. Besides, we continue to strengthen our cash position. As a result, as of September 30, 2022, we have a robust cash position of $320 million of own funds and $222 million of merchant funds. Our strong balance sheet and continuous positive free cash flow generation remain a key competitive advantage and give us flexibility to pursue our long-term growth strategy. Seba, the floor is yours. Thanks, Diego. To summarize, our performance in this quarter shows the distinctive strengths of our business, that we continue to build focus on long-term profitable growth, combining, number one, from a financial standpoint, robust dollar amount growth on a TPV, revenue, gross profit, and adjusted EBDA, with solid NRR for the nine months of 2022 at 166%. Two, from a strategic standpoint, a proven track record on executing our merchant cross-sell strategy, an outstanding geographic expansion, capitalizing on the huge opportunity in Africa and Asia. All that underpinned by our tech DNA and merchant-centric approach. Revenue from Africa and Asia accumulated $48 million in the first nine months of the year. Third, 
Last and most importantly, our lean and disciplined culture. We delivered all that with a team of 712 people continuously striving for excellence. Our culture is a key factor for us to continue delivering our long-term ambitions. We are very proud of what we have achieved this past quarter and even more excited with what is ahead of us. We have just started. We'll continue to remain humble and focused on providing the best and most comprehensive solution for our merchants in emerging markets. Big thank you to our global team, our customers, and our investors for their continued support.